rest. Now that quartet last year set the NCAA record of 605-3, except for Ryan Held. He has been replaced by Coleman Stewart. And, and this relay, without question, could win this. You said it. They have three returning swimmers, and you swap out Held for Stewart. That's a pretty good swap. There was some doubt going into this race whether Coleman Stewart would even swim the 800 free relay because they could use him in all five relays. You are only allowed to swim four relays, but you've got to keep an eye on two factors here. One, the team aspect. The second, the individual factor, and that's Dean Ferris from Harvard, who has the fastest time in the country, Rich, and could potentially break 130. He's been 30.8 already this season. And of course, leading off the relay, he would be eligible for the NCAA and American record. Oh! 129 5, 42.8. Hey, he going out. Holy smokes. And that's under American record pace, Dean Ferris of Harvard, the third fastest in history in this event. Wow. And I'm talking about the 200 free relay. And again, because he's leading it off, he's uh, the 200 freestyle, rather, he's leading it off, and so he's eligible. And he's still under it. He's seven tenths of a second under Townley Haas's record. Now, Townley Haas came back like a banshee last year, so you know he's going to slip back a little bit, but he's got a lot of room to come back to not only break in 130, but to even break in the record. Record's 129.5. Ending his first leg here, he 29-1. It. it is a new NCAA and American record. 